Okay, quick channel update before this video gets started. One, in this video, Buck put tons of time into Platte Valley, so we really thank him for that because the amount of work he put in to this Platte Valley John Deere dealership is insane. He's got a website with actual listings of the stuff on his lot, so thank you, Buck. And then second thing, I have something crazy exciting coming. We're like days or weeks away. I don't, I don't even want to say, but a new channel is going to be formed, and it's something I've been just like dreaming about for like my whole life pretty much, but it's gonna be fun. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Bear, wanna go to the John Deere dealer? See Buck? So we're gonna make a trip to the John Deere dealership. Finally, I can like show you guys it. Buck has not been allowing me to like show anything of the John Deere dealership until now. So we're finally going. A Couple things I'm looking at doing is trading in both these planners and getting a John Deere DB60 or something else or maybe a 1760 or 1765 planner uh either 12 or 24 row most likely preferably 24 row because the db60 we had was awesome my only issue is is i want to put it on the 8110 the 8110 might not have enough horsepower though so i got to talk to buck about getting a tune for this tractor but first i'm going to hop on the computer inside and then show you guys uh what's on there this house is protected by the good lord and a gosh dang Remington A7012 gauge. She's in there. Shh. She's sleeping. We'll hop on the computer and check out Platte Valley's website. So they're opening a couple different locations in Moore, Iowa, Saunders, Nebraska. I've never heard of that. Hopefully I pronounced it right. And then Flint Hills, Iowa. They got equipment sales, used equipment sales, equipment rentals, parts and service, find a dealer. What's he got for big boys? Oh, he's got a 9470RX, priced at a little over half a mil, and it does have depth. Four-wheel drive. If we were going to do an upgrade to a tractor, I'd probably be in this range of like a 8370 or 8370RT. 8370, that's a clean tractor too. Bear, no! You can't come, man. They don't allow dogs. Okay, we'll let you come, man. Just keep quiet, okay? No bidding for me. Got it? On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Rough day for that guy, right, Bear? Die. Looks like he was on foot, too. Wow. It's beautiful. Well, good afternoon, sir. How are you bear, doing? Bear, Welcome don't rush in on him. Oh, hey. Gosh. Oh, 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 hello. Bear, oh, calm down, okay, Bear. Okay. Bear, ah, calm ah, down. Ah, no, no, no. Hey, sit, sit. Okay, good dog. Bear, not on the floor. Bear, don't. No. Gosh, Bear. We're cleaning that up, dude. I. Bear, he, I think he got too excited seeing all the green paint, man. I'm sorry. What's your name? Uh, The name's Buck. Work for Platte Valley Equipment here. How can we help you out there today, bud? Buck, nice to meet you, man. I, I apologize for Bear. Sorry. Paper towels are over there at the waterbed. Okay. Behind you. Up, up, up. Left, left. What can we do for you today, bud? Actually, well, I never got your name. What's your name, bud? Grant. Grant's the name. Grant? Yep. Nice to meet you, Grant. Form about three miles east of here. Where are you now? Kind of a smaller operation, but I'm looking for a DB60 and potentially a combine. I don't know if I can purchase that combine today, though, but DB60, I think we can work out a deal. Or some, hmm. or a 24 row planner if you got a different 24 row planner. Well, let me do a little bit of work here. And I know we have the DB60, but what else were you talking about? Any 24 row planner or a combine. Well, here's the issue with all that stuff. We're, we're still getting inventory searched through right now. So okay. we don't really have the combines up. We have like the specs and sort of a price for them. But until we kind of get all of our rates and things up for them, just we don't want to mess with them right now, so they are not really for sale. Uh, it's a lower model. It'll be a little bit cheaper than the one we have out there right now because that one, it's a higher-end one. It's got tracks. It's got the smart choice boxes. It does not have Starfire. <sighs> I'm no BTO. I don't I don't think I need tracks, man. That's pushing it. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's a higher-end one, so if you would like to go with it, that's your choice. But as of right now, that is all we have Okay. for the smaller ones. We do have a DB120. Okay, let's see what you got on the lot. Let's go check right. them out. Uh, whichever door we want to go out here. Bear, we go. off the counter. Gosh, bear. Yeah, he's he's a fun boy, isn't he? <sighs> yeah, I think he loves you, Buck. Does he now? Say, he's, he's kind of like sticking right <laughs> near me, isn't he? Bear, bear, stop humping him, man. Excuse me. That will be no dogs on this lot. Um, bear, but as a, bear, uh, he keeps chasing you. You got a treat on you, man? No, uh, maybe it's just because I'm a buck. 
<laughs> He's a hunting dog, isn't he? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Well, as for right now, uh, what we can technically offer you is <clears throat> we have a bunch of deers brand new nine. Uh, we have a bunch of new deers brand new R series. In other words, we have a couple. We don't have any nine R's. We do have a nine R, but it's a 2020, not a 2021. We got the new eight R X, which is right behind you. It's a 310 or a 370, I believe. Um, yeah, that is. It's an 8370R over there, RX over there. A beautiful little tractor. It does have a. Uh, it doesn't have Starfire on it, but it is a Starfire prep option. This is a four hundred ninety-five thousand uh, dollar tractor, so not cheap. But you can get Starfire put on it for an extra three thirty-five hundred dollar uh, at tag on because it is already prepped. We just need to get all the systems and hardware put into it. But the DB60 right behind it. Again, this is our least uh, ground compaction setup. Uh, for kind of a smaller farmer, like you're saying right here, uh, does run liquid fertilization out of the front, as well as two very big uh, storage tanks in the back. I haven't got specs on that yet. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of new to the selling process here, mm -hmm. but also the ground compaction of the tracks. So very low ground compaction for you. Great seeding power, and you're going to love this thing. That John Deere Fairbank dealer, uh, I already got the demo of this setup. Yeah, it's a heck of a setup. Uh... Did you know? Yeah, they're uh, they're tossing out demos like crazy. Are they? If you want to toss a couple well, demos my way. Well, we got two ways to do that. One, are you a very famous vlogger? Because I've heard of people like this, uh, like Welker, apparently I've heard of, and this guy named Millennial Farmer up in Minnesota. He runs deer, so if he was near us, we'd send him things. But if you got any of that stuff where we'd be willing to trade, uh, try stuff out with you, we can do that. Or we can do it the other option where... If you are very interested in buying stuff, we'll make sure you have the finances almost check in hand, and then we'll let you send it out for a little bit of stuff. I can interest you in our other four-wheel drive. Actually, this one's a two-wheel drive, and it is a 6410, and this is a very nice tractor, very little guy. Uh, he can get the job done, and he is right around that $46,000 mark. I so would. You, but it only ha I'll give it to you like this. This thing only has 900 hours on it, mm -hmm. and it's a 2001. Ah, I would like it. I just bought a 6110, though, with a bat wing for, I think, 39 or 38. Mm -hmm. It didn't have a cab, though. It didn't have a cab like this. Yeah. I was say, we have one over there, one of the 6110s. It's, he's got no cab. He's got those what do you got? Uh, row crop tires in the back. What do you got it listed for? Uh, I don't I think that we have it out for, I'd have to check the computers. It's it's. Okay. Somewhere in that 30,000 range as well, yeah. 38, upper 30s. Okay. But another one that I'd be interested in you in is our little 60, uh, 6230 here. This is a nice mm. little guy. Again, he's got a little bit more hours, I think around that 3,000, 4,000 hour range, but it's a really great little tracker. Yeah. I highly would recommend that for you. Do you do uh, Do you do any tuning on tractors? Uh, we do, but we have to contact our uh, Eco company that we have run through there in is Nebraska. Is it Eco Tune? Is it Eco Tune out of Nebraska? I can't recall. I think that is. I, okay. I'd have to check. Tommy's the one that knows that. But it's. But, I guess Tommy would probably know this. But is it? Is it going to be a little plug and play? A little plug into the ECU? Yes, on I it? do know okay. that. It is. There's a little that almost like a cigarette lighter on the side of the yep. arm controls. It's especially common in combines, and we can tune the engine too. In other words, put out a little bit more power for you if you want. But depending on the tractor and how long it takes for them to get back our codes for the engine, yeah. it could take a day or two. Ooh, cracking. 8300. Oh, what do you got that priced at? That is in the work order section. So those uh, are actually not for sale. Those are customers? Um, okay. Yeah. But we do have a challenger over here that you might be a little bit interested in. This is this came in on work this came in on a trade for a sixty one thirty five. They just need a sixty one forty five. They had to just downsize a little bit. This is a beautiful field tractor, the MT six forty five D. Uh very it, it's technically your caliper of your seven R or eight R, so very nice field tractor. We just haven't gotten the specs in on it because we got it in two days ago. How many horse? Again, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It's I think it's somewhere around two, three hundred, but I can't be for sure. So if you want to come back, reserve a spot, be my guess. Uh as for combine, we do have as for uh do you do a lot of traveling on your farm? Not so much. Not so much. So I can't interest you in a UTV at all? For the right price, I'm always interested. Well, if you're reticent for the right price, you're going to want to come over here and see our uh, base model, technically Gator. We do have, bucket, we're going to have some. Bucket. Is this a new combine, S780? Yes, that is one of that. Uh, Yes, the one over here. This is our brand new S780 from the new 7 series of combines. Pretty mm -hmm. much the technology is obviously the big part of the change. We do have a couple visual changes, like the actual joystick inside that you can control the combine with going forward. Uh, just integrated with the new technology. This is your big 
F series of combines right here. Okay. This is your Mac daddy of, I want to enter into the field of, I can run a 16 row header and not bog down at all. Yeah. So that is a beautiful one. And if you recognize this tractor, at all, like this combine at all, because you got my car. 70. Yeah. These are classics. That's the big, yeah. But if you go and look on the serial number, you see that number one on the side? This is number one off of all those. This is the number one uh, serial what? number off the 2007 9770s product line on the STS series. And it's a gold so, key combine too. Yep. Wow. That is why I spent $500,000 on it at auction. It's oh. mainly just a showpiece. Oh, so. this is that combine you bought at that auction. Yes. Yeah, man. Okay. I knew what I was looking at when I saw it. So I, I, that's why I fought whoever was fighting me for it. I think it might've been you. Yeah, it was me. So that's going to be a tough sell. I got, all I got to say is good luck on that one. Eh, it's, it, we'll, we'll probably keep it out for decoration for a while now. Bear, I guess your dog likes me more than you. I'll just say that much. He does. I'm going to take him. Uh, but he's trying to get a good deal out of you. Probably. Yeah. He's you, you bring in the dog to see if you can't get a better deal. <laughs> well, bottom line here is what? Uh, technically interests you as now you kind of got a little bit of a walk around what can we uh, possibly do for the servicing of course and sell me db60 today i want 24 row planer you want the do one you with take the track setup could you change you, out the tires is that a possibility um, we can but you're going to be paying probably more than you want to to do that hmm. if anything we can put in a shipment to uh moline and we can have them send us one out that has the tires on it if you yeah. want everything on here. But that's going to be about a week and a half before we even remotely get it. What do you have? That's uh, if we can. What do you have for prices on that? Uh, again, I'll have to check the computer on that. I'm, I know it's somewhere around uh, at two, three hundred thousand because of our configurations with it. All right. So as of right now, let's actually move back to the parts decks as I just wanted to make sure of a few things on the site here. Uh, we'll get you set up with all of our paperwork. We are going to be having an online set up going within the next couple of weeks. So you will be able to do this a little bit easier to say the least. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to grab my paperwork here. The DB60 as of right now is going to be listed at $382,500 uh, because of the track setup that is on it. If you would like to demo anything in here, I will have to, until I get verification, you're going to have to go through the process of you better have money in hand uh, and then we can at least slide some goodbye. So. If you'd like me to do that, anything before I type up the uh, invoice now, please let me know. Could I demo that Kubota UTV? I have mm -hmm. on my email subscriber list that I'm starting to gather, I do have 12 subscriptions from it of 12 people who are interested in following the farm and interested in different things right. on the email list. And they get daily emails. It's a pretty good following. Right. Uh, the, demo, uh, the demo is only good for two and a half weeks. So hopefully oh. you'd be able to come. I, 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 Can we, you know, okay. You know what? I, I kind of am famous. I'll do this I took you. a picture I'll, with I'll, Michael I'll Jackson with back computers. in the 90s. That doesn't count. <laughs> um, let me actually check here. I'll just do a quick little bit of actually your demo. Can, we can make your demo worth it for a month, but we're actually going to put a little bit of a fee on it. It'll be uh, at the end of it. You'll pretty much just pay your fuel and all that stuff costs. So we'll just actually do that. Uh, you get a month for the demo. But again, if you find out that you like it and you would like to purchase it, you can come back here, do our finances, or we can fax you a bill and then you can mail it us or bring it into us at person. Actually, yeah. So $386,500 for the DB60. And then we'll obviously get the demo papers here. I have to get those out. Should be right here. Okay. I'll have you sign down here on the uh, PO box so we can get the address for this. I also need you to date this on this paper right here. This is to, in other words, sign off on the warranty that you would like the three-year hour, a three -year warranty. I need you to check that box. And actually, hang on, let me just, which other ones do you need to get here? Uh, okay, on the trade-in agreement, I'd also like you to put your name, uh, the yep. make and model of the DB60 here, uh, if you want it as well. What year's that uh, DB60, 2021? It's a 20, it's a 2020. Okay, sign off there. And if you, uh, are you gonna be doing cash or credit on this one? Cash. You're going to be doing cash? Okay. So we'll have to do all the papers here. Actually, while you're getting that check, is it going to be check or actual physical cash? Check. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get the, while you write the check out, I'm actually going to your invoice. Okay. Would you actually want your invoice faxed to you or do you want a copy of it? What's, what's the date? You got the date here? Uh, yeah, it is July, no, June 29th. Man, my computer's off. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, it's 29th. Just, 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 29th. 29th? 29th? Okay. Uh, uh, so 04, 29. 20. All right. Here's your copy of the invoice. 
Thank you for doing business. If we can do anything for you, in other words, help out with more service, get you anything else that you need to do, uh, please feel free to let us know, call it. You know you have my business card. Uh, Ply Valley, obviously, will be here for you and anything you need. Uh, I actually forgot I have nice chairs over there. Like We could have done the business deal on that. But Thanks, Buck. All right. No bear, problem. Bear, come I'll on. See you later. Ah, he'll be in the get truck. Get in the truck, Bear. All right. Have a good one, Grant. We'll see ya. We got the planner bought, so that means we gotta go trade in our old planner, the John Deere 1720 Stack Fold. I've sold the other one that was on the 4960, and I sold that on Facebook Marketplace, but this one's going back to buck, and we're gonna get some trade-in credits for our next trade-in. We already paid for that DB60, but next trade-in, or anything we buy from there, we'll have trade-in credits, obviously. Put the flashers on, and there we go. Since we're going to be pulling a 24 row planter with this John Deere 8110 and it's only producing 185, 183 horse, we're a little low. But with these 8110s, what you can do is throw a tuner on them. And there's a couple different tuning companies that we'll have to check into. But essentially, we can make this probably like an 82 or 8310. Probably don't want to go all the way to an 8410 horsepower because that's probably pushing it a little bit. They're pretty much the same, but there might be, there could be a couple differences with front axle and then the cooling system. And there it is. Flat Valley. Well, I think I'm just gonna go around back. Yeah, we'll drop it off around back. I gotta talk to Buck, but we gotta pick up our uh, DB60 planner. It's got a lot of equipment in there. It's got a hardy sprayer. It's got two hardy sprayers. A baler. Well, for now, I think I'm just gonna drop it in the customer service drop off, cause, okay, I got the planner detached. I just gotta talk to Buck. Well, Buck said there's a couple more parts he has to add to the planner before I can take it home. He wants to have his mechanics run through it and add a couple things. I was like, come on, man. I want to take it home. It'd be nice to have this, the DB90, but can't take it home. Got to wait for Buck's approval. So this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Here, we'll shift up. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. I know it was a kind of a fun one. It was a long-awaited one, especially with uh, Buck's new dealership opening and again. Thank you to Buck for uh, opening up his dealership to us. So, anyways, guys, we'll see you next one. And hey, have a good day. Thanks, guys.